What is going on guys? Tripping back with yet another rest video. Today I'm gonna show you guys how you can actually phone nation stack, right? Uh, you guys are gonna think, well, you know, technically you can't do that. But uh as you can see in front of us, uh you actually can do it, right? Uh there's two different ways to do it. You can do it like this, or you can do it like this, right? Uh this way is a little bit trickier and in my opinion, uh it's a little bit more useful. Uh as you can see uh, you actually have flooring all around it, alright, so you got floors there, and on top, as you can see, uh, you got the foundations here. There is a different way you can do this too, so, uh, keep that in mind. Uh, as you can see, um, I will put, uh, the foundations in here. Um, I'm only gonna break two of them, because I'm gonna show you guys, uh, how you can do the other ones here, but, um, for this design, I'll show you guys this one last, after I show you guys how you can do these two first, alright? Uh, there's two different ways you can do it. You can do a triangle on the bottom or a square. They're both pretty much the same here. Uh, what you're going to do though is, oops, let me get rid of that. What you're going to do, like I was saying, is get your highest uh, triangle foundation just like so. Oops. And they have to be twig. If you upgrade it right away, it will not work. So for the triangle one, place the highest one here, followed by a medium one here. And lastly, you can just place your low one just like this. Uh, one thing to keep in mind, you cannot place any walls here. So, uh, I don't know if this is useful in any way. Uh, I'm sure you guys can find a use for it somehow. Personally, I haven't really messed around with it. Um, I'll just mess around when I find out you can do this. So, um, if you guys do find a way you can like implement this into a base, uh, please do let me know. Because I was thinking about, uh, you could use this for a bunker somehow, but then I realized you can't place walls here. So, uh, that was kind of a bummer for me. But, anyways, uh, on to the next one here. Uh, what you're gonna do is pretty much the same thing as the other one here. Place the highest triangle foundation just like so. And what I do after I place that is turn my sensitivity on my mouse all the way down. And then place, or if you look straight down, you can actually walk forward. And you're gonna notice the foundation can only go so far to here, right? So when you get to the point that it can't go any farther forward, you just click it. And there you go. And if you do it correctly, uh, you can actually place a uh, foundation all the way around it, just like so. Uh, one thing to keep in mind with this too, you can't actually place any foundations right here. But on the side, you can actually can, right? And the reason I can't do it here is because it's too close. So, uh, you guys can place walls on the triangles here, but not on the square part itself, right? So, please keep that in mind. Uh, for this one, uh, like I said, there are two different ways you can do this. You can do it so there's actually a foundation right here, alright? Uh, and there's a different way to do it, alright? So, let me just uh, get rid of all of these. So, uh, as you can see, we actually have, um, it's, it's almost like roof stacking is how you do this. So, I'll show you guys how you build it. Uh, it probably won't be the exact same as this, but uh, this is uh, one way to do it. So you can have the foundation just like this with a missing one here and a missing one here on this side or if you don't want to do it like that uh, what we can do is uh, we can do it just like this and personally I think I would do it uh, just like the way I'm doing now just for the simple fact to make it a little bit more secure and then we get rid of these and we do the same thing all the way around right so uh, we'll just do that real quick oops I can get rid of these and the reason that I would do it like this, and I'll show you guys in one second why I would do it like this, and why it's a little bit stronger too, in my opinion. Oops. There we go. So once you have all these down, um, what I would do is put your half walls in just like so. Alright. Obviously you'd have half walls here, but I'm just going to leave that out. And then you'd place all of your triangles in just like so. Alright. And then... What you do is you can come in. As you notice, you can't actually place anything. But once you upgrade these to uh, pretty much anything. Uh, armor is a little bit trickier. So if you do this, um, make sure you put your floors in first. And then upgrade your foundations armored. But as you can see, I can actually place the ceiling through the foundation. Alright, I don't know if this is a bug. But uh, I thought it was kind of neat. So uh, as you can see, I got all six of them in, right? Like I said, I'm not sure if there's an actual use for this at all, but if you guys find a use for this, please let me know, alright? Uh, I think it's kind of cool. If we can implement this into a bunker somehow, uh, I think that would be uh, pretty cool, right? 
Uh, actually, now that I think of it, you probably could. But, anyways, um, now that you have this, right? So, you know, someone could just, like, drill straight down or whatever. To break all these foundations here, right? And, obviously, as you can see, you actually have the flooring here, right? So, um, one thing to keep in mind, though, too, is if you have the flooring in, which I can't really do it now because I broke all this. But, um, if you have the flooring in and the foundations, uh, the flooring does not take spot damage, right? And, uh, how you build this, you know, pretty much the standard way to do the roof stacking here. Oops. So, uh, there's different ways to do this. This is just the way that I do it because this is the way that I'm most comfortable with on how to roof stack. So, we're gonna go like this, and it's pretty standard stuff here, so, uh, you can probably tell what I'm doing here, so. Once we have this, alright, this is pretty much standard, like I was saying. Now you're gonna notice on this wall, see this line that goes this way at the half point and the same for here? What you're gonna do is get your triangle foundation, and you're gonna have to place this foundation above that half line, alright? And, uh, I'm not gonna lie, I'm not gonna, uh, you know, sugarcoat this at all. Placing this foundation, if you don't practice it enough, it is pretty difficult, right? Uh, like you can clearly see here, uh, it, I can't get it on the first try. Uh, it does take a little bit to do, so please keep that in mind. Alright, um, and then you can just get rid of this, get rid of this, and we can get rid of this. Now, depending on which way you want to do it, if you'd want to do it the uh, way that I had it the first time, you know, with it pretty much like this, if I can get rid of that, there we go. This is basically how you do it, right? So that's one way to do it and then you know you can actually just put this like this right so that's one way to do it and then you obviously put your flowing in stuff like that or like i showed you the other way not a square we can actually go ahead and we can actually put um the foundations in just like so right and i'm gonna do it this way just so i can show you guys that it does not take splash damage and i will, will build this up real quickly just to prove to you guys that it did not take any splash damage, right? Alright, we are almost done. We just got this last side right here. Uh, like I said though, I don't know if there's actual use for this at all. If there is, uh, please let me know in the comments or uh, if you're in my Discord. Uh, I will also have a link that in the description. But if you get in my uh, Discord, uh, you can just uh, send me a picture or just PM me. So, uh, if you're not in my Discord, uh, I please advise that you guys do join that. Uh, if you guys have any build ideas or anything, just, uh, you know, let me know. Or if you have anything you want me to do, you can just leave that in the comment section. So, uh, next up, after we have this, we just upgrade all these, like I said. And then, place our triangles flowing in, just like so. Oops. Just like this. Uh, it is tricky if you have armored, like I said, so... Uh, it does work with any building material other than twig. Uh, I haven't tested wood because, I mean, obviously you won't build the foundation out of wood anyway, so. Alright, so now that we have this here, um, I'm going to get a rocket launcher, and I'm going to prove that uh, it actually doesn't take any splash damage here. So, I mean, all six of these will take splash damage, the foundations itself, but uh, the flooring right, itself will not do, or whatever they're called. Uh, oops, what are these? Yeah, the floors. Alright, so, as you can see, I'll rocket it a couple times here. And as you can see, alright, only some of the foundation broke. I mean, obviously it didn't all break because I didn't hit the dex middle, but, uh, as you can see, uh, the flooring did not take any splash damage at all, right? And I will get rid of these foundations just for the sake that you actually splashed them correctly. But as you can see, the floors itself didn't take any damage, right? Uh, like I said though, what's this useful for? Uh, I'm not too sure. Uh, I'm sure you guys can think of something. But I uh, figured I'd show you guys that. Something quick and neat. Um, one thing to keep in mind though, um, when Force Web does come out, I will be releasing some more base tutorials. So, um, I got some footprints going here and stuff like that, so. But, uh, if you guys do want to see some smaller multi-TT bases or stuff like that, 
or smaller bases in general, please do uh, leave a like on the video or comment below. Uh, like I said in the previous videos, uh, personally, I'm not the best at doing small bases, so if you guys have any tips on how you guys go about building smaller bases, uh, I would greatly appreciate that. So I can kind of learn how to do smaller bases, because mostly I like doing multi-TT bases, so if you guys can let me know your tr tips or tricks or advice on how to build smaller bases, uh, that'd be greatly appreciated. But uh, without further ado guys, this has been Drippin', and I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a good one.